Okay. Right, well, we're in the ancient uh, Kyparissus, or the modern Kyparissus, ancient Kynopolis, by the beach, supposedly near the ruins of the Temple of Aphrodite, some of which are apparently built into a rather wretched little church there, which is itself a ruin, but there certainly are remains of at least one column and some other monumental marble, marble blocks. And presumably associated with the sanctuary or the nearby city is this stele erected, so the guidebook says, for the Emperor Gordian III. One can't clearly see his name, at least not in the way this survives, but one can see the end of the imperial titles, ending with Sebaston, which of course is the imperial title of um, Augustus in, uh, in Greek. And then it gives the names of the people who have set up the inscription, who um, seem to bear the title of um, Ephors, which here in Laconia is significant because the magistrates of Sparta were traditionally called Ephors, and obviously this continued on into the uh, 3rd century AD. Um, and both the men are actually um, named. We have uh, Thaliarchus, um, and we have... Um, Lysixenus, but both of them have the forenames of M for Marcus and Aurelius, which implies they both got their citizenship by the Constitutio Antoniniana of AD 212 and Caracalla gave all people in the empire who did not yet have citizenship the citizenship. And all the new citizens took the prynomen and nomen of the emperor, namely Marcus Aurelius, and then they would use their existing principal Greek name in order to uh, to fill out their uh, their nomenclature. Although it's interesting, they also combine this with a Greek-style patronymic, giving the name of their fathers in the genitive, which is not quite the way with the positioning in which the uh, you would do it if you were writing proper Latin. So here is a sort of uh, a mixture of the two two traditions. And this, of course, is only what may be maximum of 30 years after the Constitutio.